I've never made eggnog before, and I honestly don't know if I've ever tried eggnog before, but eggnog season is almost here, and we're hoping to host a big holiday party this year, so I'm testing out a few seasonal drinks in advance of that, and I want to see if this one's a winner. Now, you can easily make eggnog without the booze by just simply not adding it, um, but today I'm going to make a vanilla spice eggnog, and I'm going to use spiced rum. A lot of eggnog recipes that I've seen online call for sugar, processed white sugar, but I'm going to omit that completely. I'm going to use maple syrup to sweeten this instead. It's really simple to swap processed sugar out for honey or maple syrup, and I find that maple syrup specifically has a much deeper, richer flavor than white sugar, so I think it'll be really delicious in eggnog. So the first step is to separate the egg yolks and whites of four eggs and to add the yolks to a large bowl. So although you can heat it, eggnog uses raw eggs, so it's really important that you use eggs from a source that you trust. I'm going to pour two teaspoons of maple syrup into the egg yolks and use a fork to whisk them together. And then to the egg yolks and maple syrup, I'm going to add one cup of heavy cream, two cups of milk, one teaspoon of nutmeg, two teaspoons of vanilla, and three ounces of spiced rum. And I'm gonna mix that all together. Then I'm going to use a mixer to whisk together the egg whites until hard peaks begin to form. To make this faster, you can use an electric mixer. We just have this hand mixer, so I'm going to be using that. So then to have this cold, just go ahead and pour it into a mug, and you could add a dollop of the egg whites on top, and sprinkle some cinnamon or nutmeg on top of the egg whites and you're good to go. Or you could heat it over the stove so it's a bit warmer and then add the egg whites on top and garnish it as you want and then it's ready to serve. Now I would recommend that you might wanna wait to whisk the egg whites until just before serving to make sure that the peaks remain firm. I hope you enjoy this but for now, thank you for stopping by today. I make two new videos every week sharing what I learn about simplifying food, self-care, and consumption in the modern world. So subscribe if that's of interest to you, and I'll speak to you in the next Documenting Simple Living video.